So during this match, at the start of the fourth end, we have Chris and Shane leading 4-1. Just move the camera a little bit closer. So uh, this is the first match of the uh, round robin. And we've got 17 teams today, drawn in four groups, three groups of four and one group of five. So um, the weather is it's, it's lovely, it's about 20 degrees and there's a slight breeze at the moment. It's forecast to get up to 24 this afternoon. And we're very lucky. It's just before the... Uh, the um, Heat wave, which is forecast for next week. So, uh, hopefully, we're in for a good day. So, uh, yep, it's a good shot from Chris coming in here. Right on the jack. Holding one. And it's third wood, so it's three wood pairs today. This is the third wood coming down. It's a bit heavy and a yeah. bit wide. It's come in at second wood and removed Chris's back wood. Jelly things and Shane's woods coming down. It's just a little bit wide, I think. Yeah, it's just caught Chris's front. Well, it might have pushed it in a little bit, but not quite for two. Yeah. Brian has got two back waiting. He knows it's there. He's he's trying for it. It's just gone. So narrow, there's a big swing on that hand, so just either needs a little bit more weight or a slightly wider line. Yeah, this is um, a better line from Shane and a good weight. It's coming in for two. Yeah. It's still there to pop. I might choose, yeah, he's going to choose the forehand now. Yeah, this is close. It's gonna go all oh, right through the gap. So I'm looking to draw in a third, which he's managed to do. Lovely shot. Brian's last word, so you'll need to. Uh, just tone it down a little bit, yep. Yeah. Just trying to draw it now. It's three down, you don't want to be going three down. Here it comes. Uh, it's cut one down. Two shots. Yep. Yeah. Good start from Chris there. So this is the fifth end. We've had four, obviously, and Chris and Shane are winning 6 1. So, three ends remaining. Are you sick, mate? Right. Yeah, it's a bit more green up. Yeah. Stella and Lovely Brian white. need to win this end, otherwise, it'll. The game will run away from them. So he's done a good first wood. Oops, gone a bit wide here. She is allowed to go outside the line of the green as long as she comes back in, which she's done, and she's got backward there. It's on. Yeah, it's, the reason we do it is because sometimes a wide line is needed, and there's big swing on these mats, and. Uh, and also it prevents any arguments whether a wood was on or off. So for the for those two reasons we allow it to the wood to go outside the line as long as it ends up back in the, the grid. 
all the bowlers know that. And uh, that three is not as swingy as some of the other mats. So uh, from that one or mat five, the swing is quite quite extensive. That's second wood. Plenty of room for Brian to get a second wood in here. Yeah, he's on a good line and a good road. It's going to come in for two. Oh, nice one! Well done. Actually, shot wood there. Yeah. Imagine Shane would play slightly over. Yeah. He's looking for clean that hit on the jack or the wood. He's got the wood. Took him one out. Good try. So, Stella holding one. I will just try and draw in another wood here. Try and draw in for two again. Yeah, he's done that. And somewhat stopped the drive, but Chain will now just try and draw in between the brown and the red woods. He's close with this. Oh, it's just dropped short. Oh. <laughs> so Brian will try and make this three, get them back into the game. Uh, he's not far off with this. Might only be two because he moved to Jack. So that too brings the game, brings Stella and Brian back into the game. It's six three. Uh, we still need to win this end, um, but winning this end will make it an interesting last end. Shane and Chris win it, then uh, even as only a one, it, four shots up, that will make it very difficult for Brian and Stella to. Um, to yeah, there is a straight bit on that side, and unfortunately for Chris, she found it. It's just one little spot where if you go too wide, it just catches it and it just stays out. And Stella's drawn in a second word there. I don't mind you going round, then we'll remove it. Yeah, yeah good shot. How you see it? This has changed hands and request to shame. And this is coming, this is going to hit. Round it. It's going to get round it. Yeah, uh, it's got a second word there. So. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Brian has asked Stella to play onto the, the green wood, or if she's slightly narrow, she'll pick up the pink, her own pink. Oh, she's gone with weight. I don't think Brian was expecting her to do that. Yeah, another good line from Chris. It's just got a, it's coming in, it might push her own wood in. Yeah, shot wood. Bye, Bob. Um, yeah, it has. It's pushed her own wood in for shot. <laughs> Brian will be looking just to draw on to Chris's shot wood. He's close with this. Oh, it's just held the line a little bit. Yeah, he's, um, it's okay because it's ended up with him having a backward move the jack close, uh, the wood jokes to the jack, so actually gives himself a bigger target for his next wood. And Shane's, Shane's opened it up a little bit. There's a split there now as well, so I would imagine Brian will play slightly over here. Yeah, just slightly over. And Chris still holding two. Shane so will look to draw in a third, I think. Yeah. He's close with this. Yeah, very good shot. And Brian needs to bowl onto that last wood and just move it out and stay. He's got a good line. So whether it's yeah, he's gonna hit his own up. And he's got he's got the shot with that. Yeah, he's emitting that 
that was a bit lucky, so it wasn't what he was playing for, but he put it in the right area. It makes it hard for Shane. Um, let's see what he does. Yeah. One to Brian and Stella. So, final end of the match. It's 6 4 to Shane and Chris, um, who have the advantage of the last wood. And uh, Chris is coming in with a good shot here. <coughs> Lovely shot. Oh, really wanted it to fall over, I think. But Chance for Stella now to just draw in onto that. Oh, she's gone a bit heavy. She's just going to go past. This. Okay, she's touched her own wood across, but it's uh, still on at the back, which is good. This has gone wide, but looking for a backward. It's just going to. Yeah, that's in. Just in. Well, I was asked uh, just to draw it. Yep, it's a better weight. And it's coming in. Now it's manoeuvred it away a little bit. So, Jack is open now. This is Chris. This is a good word by Chris. Yeah, on the jack, so Brian's got a bit of work to do here. He needs two, so he has the first word, so he has a choice. He can try and draw it, or he may choose to play slightly over and just hit the green on the jack and move it away. And he's chosen backhand, so chances are he's going to just draw it. Yeah, he's going to draw this one. He is a little bit heavy, so he might be in two minds with that, but he has put another backward in. So he's got the two, possibly three waiting there now. And the one on the right as we're looking at it. Shane's just trying to make things difficult, putting another wood in there. Yeah. Well, Brian hits the black one. He's shown the plane, he indicates he's playing over. If he hits the black one and pushes it back, it could be interesting. Come on, Brian. Well, he's, um, he's knocked it and opened the jack up. So Brian needs to jack, he needs to take it back into the ditch. So if he gets if he gets um, if he gets the jack, puts it in the ditch, could potentially win the match here. I think he's a little narrow, he just needs a straightening on it. Oh he just put touch that front wood. They're holding three, so Shane and Chris have won the first match. So, literally went down to the last but one shot, so good game.